All right, ladies and gentlemen, infinite regression, third time tonight, time to get serious. Delta Force Land Warrior. Yeah, that's right. Not Delta Force 3, Delta Force Land Warrior. Now, if, if we go back and take a look, you'll notice that I have Delta Force 1, Delta Force 2, Delta Force Land Warrior. There was one for the PlayStation that I don't have, and I don't know that it was any good. <laughs> and there was one for the, um, uh, oh, there was another one for the PC that I don't like because it just didn't feel as good. That was the Black Hawk Down one. It just felt like a silly cash grab. Um, and then they went all Delta Force Extreme. So this is the last Delta Force game that I cared about. And I bought these. I bought them with the expansion packs and everything. I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that high quality. I could totally read that text. Okay. Single player gas can. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Uh, <sighs> girls, that's right. I forgot there were girls in this one. Close quarters. Nah, I think Longbow is my dude. Wait, he's from Tuba City? What the frig? Do you know how small a town Tuba City is? It might legitimately be smaller than the town that I am in now. I gotta change his name. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna change his name to like actual Navajo friends of mine but then I'm like now nah, I shouldn't put people's actual names online uh let's see oh what's the you know what I gotta name him John Redcorn you know what's interesting about John Redcorn is that I grew up all around natives my whole life there was a time in college when all of my roommates were native and the girl that I was dating was also Native American. All of them, by the way, have copies of the book Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee that people gave them when they went away to college at the white man's school. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, the funny thing is that in almost all media, when Native Americans talk, they all talk like this. Hello, I am Native American. It's always that voice, that's the John Redcorn voice. Guess how many natives I know who talk like that? Zero. Like, I'm not kidding. I grew up... A situation has arisen yes. That requires an immediate Let's see. Deployment. Oh my god. I get multiple, multiple, multiples? Ooh. Let's, oh my god. That is so much gear. Okay. Yeah, I love my fitty cal. I mean, the saw is pretty, that looks like a box. Okay, I I am a uh, light rifle, highly accurate, subsonic ammunition, PSG-1. You know what? I might try the PSG-1. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Okay, this is when things got, I mean, look at these graphics. 
I'm on a helicopter? Do you understand how freaking serious business this is? Oh, freaking hostages. I hate hostages. It's probably going to take me like 15 tries to get this right. Okay, uh, is that... Wait. Okay, command map. Oh no, I do have a mini map. They just moved it to the other side of the screen. I'm like, where is my mini map? How am I even going to find my freaking objectives? North to the Sphinx. Yeah. This is King Six. Satellites show heavy activity around the Sphinx. Proceed with caution. Roger. Got him. Wait, who's shooting at me? Oh, this guy? Oh. Little uh little bit smarter AI on this one than there was on the last one. And look at how nice the graphics are on this. My god. Super nice. Haha. <laughs> I love turning <laughs> circle mans into X's. Like, that's just. I live for that, you know? Oh, jeez. He almost took me out. Can't live like this. Really digging this rifle though. Yeah, go join your friend. Okay. That sounds like a deal. Um. Sounds like a job for different gun. Oh my god. Why is this brick different? Oh, I'm going to land in it. Rat's nest. Yes, everyone come check on your friends. They're not doing as well as you thought. I think he said somebody set us up the bomb. Let's 
guy should be right in front of me. Oh, jeez. Hidden room, eh? Just gonna turn, guys. Circles into X's. Wait. wait. Like, honestly, how do you not see me before I see you? Okay. This is King Six. Objective Griffin is clear. Move to Objective King. Roger. Oh. Okay, come on. He went behind those freaking boxes. I saw him do it. You were pointed the wrong way, like dummy. <laughs> I'm telling you, the AI on these games, like, AI used to be really, really hard. Okay, hold up. Oh, I've got a bunch of idiots waiting for me up there. And epilepsy. Now that I've climbed this ladder, thank you a very muchy. This is King 6. Be advised, you have hostiles inbound from the northwest. Well, I'm hostile to them, and I'm inbound from the northwest. Oh, this freaking guy. Okay. I hear them, but I do not see them. Okay. Love making them axes. Oh, I have to go into the Great Pyramid, I bet.
elevation, little windage. Come on. There we go. That's what's up. Wait. Who's shooting at me now? I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, this guy. Thought I killed you a while ago. Okay. This is King Six. Head up the ramp into the center pyramid and find the hostages. Roger. Okay. I will do that. This seems impossibly steep. Okay. Why are you calling me Longbow? You know that's not my name. John Redcord. That gummit. Okay. Oh, frick. I'm out of ammo. Might have to switch to my pistola. Okay, I think I do have to head up. Oh, God. Who's a worse shot, me or you? God. Uh, took a minute to get him down, but we did it. We did it. No, nah, I still have a dude to kill. King Six, Longbow. I've located the hostages. Yeah. Black Widow is inbound. Where's the last dude? There he is. Got him. I missed all of this Egyptian fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is Delta Force 3. Good time, good time. Everybody had a good time. Let me just get my... Sniper rifle here. Okay. 
I said sniper rifle. Anyway, um, I didn't make it to the extraction, so I've got to make it all the way out. Oh, hello, hostage. <laughs> the fun thing is that you can shoot the hostages after the mission is over, and um, that that's a good time. Good time had by all. You can also shoot the hostages on accident. Okay. And this should be extraction over here. Coming around the corner. Boop do should be able to exit. Yay, we're saved. Oh god. Just stumbling down the pyramid. Yay, we're saved. Anyway, uh, so many new cool features in uh, Delta Force 3. Obviously, a lot of times uh, there will be an actual helicopter to pick you up. Oh, that's, that's right. You can change the... Yeah, oh, and check this business. Oh, isn't that a dandy of a time? Hey, let's destroy some ancient history. Just kidding, it won't do anything to it. It's fine. Those aliens knew what they were doing. Just kidding, aliens didn't build the Great Pyramids. Dinguses, like... So I had one more left to that. Boo. Look, if we don't spend it this year, we won't get it next year. So, it's like you got to. Um, I'm just going to shoot trees. Just waste all my rounds. Because I know how to... Wait, where's that bird? Because you can shoot the birds in this game. I know that much. And look at that. Realistic bullet hittery on the ground in front of you. Like... Delta Force Land Warrior was ground breaking. Oh, look at that. You can see bullet holes in the tree where I shoot it. Oh my god. There we go. I used all the things. All the things. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's end that mission. Egyptian authorities have questioned the APF members that survived Oh yeah, they did. Assault. No they one survived. The attack on the Sphinx was staged from a temporary APF camp. Ooh. Yeah, I could take it out assault. except for I'm trying to get to bed tonight. So, um I've played this game from start to finish before. I can tell you that it is very similar uh start to finish. I mean, there are some variations in the um, levels, there is a part where you get to blow up a helicopter, uh, you have to blow it up before it leaves, uh, there's a part, there's a really hard mission where you have to stop a convoy, and that one is tough, but, um, still, super fun game, anyway, let me put a score on it, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, and I'm back. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, Definitely, definitely. Uh, Land Warrior, for real, for sure. Amazing. Love it. Um, anyway, here's my final score for Delta Force Land Warrior. 4.5 out of 5 nostalgias. Here's why. Al although the original Delta Force is the one that like takes me back the hardest, 
Um, Land Warrior is the one with the most content. It is the most playable today. Um, and, and therefore, and it's not the, you know, I don't know why I just saw Black Hawk down as a cash grab. Did I play it? Yes. I may or may not have acquired it <clears throat> through means, um, and played it. All the others I purchased full price, um, owned the big box copies and everything. And, uh, yeah, Black Hawk Down, I was like, this seems like a cash grab. And then I played it, and it was like all the missions that I hate. You know, you're just escorting morons who get themselves shot at the first opportunity. Like, such a pain in the neck. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, yeah, here's, here's what I end up with. 4.5 out of 5 nostalgias for Land Warrior. Because, honestly, I feel like it is the pinnacle of the Delta Force series. Now, that being said, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I have not played the Delta Force Extreme. You know, those might be awesome. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, these are the ones that I owned back in the day. And this is the best one out of those. So take that for what it's worth. If you like old school first person shooters, uh, you can certainly do much, much worse than Delta Force. Uh, any of the three main Delta Force games, the first three Delta Force games. So that's one, two, and Land Warrior. Uh, yeah, honestly, you can do a lot worse than that if you're looking at old school FPSs. So, um, I recommend it. I love it. But then again, I'm so nostalgic for it. I probably can't see the game for what it is. Anyway, that is it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.